Yo, hey man, what's good? I'm coming to y'all another video today, and in today's video, we don't got no Fergus video today. Today we actually got a Q and A, <sighs> and we're gonna touch on some crazy questions y'all done asked. I'm telling y'all, y'all ask the most bogus questions. Some y'all got some good questions, but some y'all just got some off the wall ass questions. You asking some off the wall ass questions that I don't or tolerate. But hey man, before we hop into this video, I hope y'all feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Hope you're having a great day today, man. Hope y'all had something delicious to eat today, gang. I literally just woke up, brushed my teeth, washed my face, and said, fuck it, let's record. It's the second of the month. We gotta work hard, man. Gotta work hard this month, gang. I was checking my analytics, and they said I uploaded 47 videos in June. That's not enough, nigga. I'm planning to do 60. Y'all better lock in for this grind, man. But yeah, man, I'm not gonna talk this much in the intro because I'm probably gonna do a lot, a lot, a lot of talking because, like I said, I got a lot of questions and I probably need to explain some of them. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I know y'all ready. I know I'm ready. Let's get straight into these off the wall ass questions. Let's go. All right, as y'all can see, I put this on my story right here and i got about 500 views and i got a lot of questions bro i got a lot of questions and i got some on youtube too so yeah y'all we is finna answer all these questions and yeah i'm gonna answer every single one i'm gonna answer every single one so let's get straight into the first one what was your first cologne my first cologne was blue de chanel edt um i spent my last on it um i had about 180 dollars to my name when i bought it i spent 144 dollars had 40 dollars left after i bought it and then a week later, it broke on me. Talk about heartbreak, nigga. Um, do you like Blue de Chanel EDP? Yeah, next time I do plan on getting Blue de Chanel, I am gonna get the EDP or the pop from. It depends on what my pockets is looking like, gang. Um, what's your next cologne gonna be? I'm honestly stuck on what I want my next cologne to be. Like, I'm so stuck. Like, do I wanna like get niche? Do I wanna get another designer? I don't know what the fuck I wanna get. I don't know. Cause I feel like I'm complacent right now. I feel like I'm good. Like I don't really like need to keep on expanding. Um, everything I have, everything I get will be like a want. Cause I already got what I really want for real. It would just be like a, a add on I say. What has been the hardest part of the grind? Um, on my whole YouTube grind, it'll, it just have to be like, it'll be some nice. I'm talking about in the past. It'll be some nights where I'm grinding so hard and it'll be like late nights where it's like, fuck, I ain't upload today. And it's like, I, I got to get up and upload. But it's like, what the fuck is the point of me uploading? Ain't nobody watching this. You feel me? Like, I just had those little conversations in my head, but I keep uploading anyway, anyway, anyway. And y'all can see this is the, you know what I'm saying? This is the outcome. You feel me? So if y'all going through that process, keep going, bro. Because trust me, I don't went through every downslide, like, Bro, y'all don't even know, gang. Y'all don't even. My story, my YouTube story is crazy. Um, the Mala Parfum or Elixir? Elixir, of course. Y'all, y'all know my body. Y'all know my Elixir body. My body Elixir all day. Have you tried any Louis Vuitton fragrances yet? No, I have not. I don't want to though. Like, I live in Atlanta, and no niche fragrances are around. You got to go up, up north. Like, like, if y'all haven't been to Atlanta, it's two parts of Atlanta. Okay. I'm talking about the downtown city. It's two parts of the downtown city. You got Midtown and you got Buckhead. Buckhead is like the Beverly Hills of England. They got all the stores. They got Saks. They got. They just got everything. You got to go up there to get the niche. But that's the thing. It's the extra 20 minutes. It might be extra 40 minutes because of traffic. Ain't nobody trying to sit through that BS. You hear me? So I'm going to have to go up there to go smell Louis Vuitton fragrances. And I'm not going to do all that. Collection review. You asked me to review a collection. I think I already did. By the time by the time I post this, y'all don't see the, the uh, collection review. What was your first designer fragrance? I should have studied Blue Chanel EDT. You know what I'm saying? My baby. I'm gonna blot again one day. Only wear one, only wear cologne from one designer brand forever. What you choosing? Probably, probably, I'll probably say Dior. No, why? No, YSL or Prada? Probably. Probably Prada. I like. I'll probably say Prada. Prada or YSL. I can't pay. They both go to best cologne in the world, in your opinion. Best cologne in the world. Initial side effect, but best smelling. Bonnevernard New York Nights. Best Valentino Coral Fantasy to me. Coral Fantasy. You have you tried Peg and Hill? Peg Haley? Peg Hell? I can't even read. Hell no, I ain't tried that shit. You coming to the UK? Hell yeah, man. I, I love to go to the UK. I used to I used to want to be in the UK so bad when I was like in quarantine. Like the UK, UK just seems so lit, bro. Like I got to go to that bit one day, like for sure. 
Um, I just gotta, you know what I'm saying, make enough money to go, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, give me a good little hotel. But I heard they be stabbing people out there. I ain't, I ain't trying to, I ain't, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give me some protection out there. Best fragrance of all time, like I just said, um, best smelling is New York Nights. And best, like overall, is initial side effect to me. 10 out of 10 fragrances. 10 out of 10. Like I said, initial side effect. Uh, to me, 10 out of 10, initial side effect, Burberry Hero EDT, Blue de Chanel Parfum, um, the Mall Elixir, um, Off 99 PM, Versace Dylan Blue, uh, Chanel Long Sport Edition Blanche, uh, um, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot out there. I, I, got, I got to ask these questions. I'm going to be here, here all day, you feel me? But those are just a couple. i say 10 out of 10. If you had an unlimited budget, budget, what would what fragrance would you buy? Right now, if, if, I, if my bank account just said, get any fragrance you want, I'm, I'm probably getting a Louis Vuitton fragrance. How much do Louis Vuitton fragrances even cost? I don't even know their price. I just know they're expensive as hell. So I'll probably get something I know I can't get, like for a while, for, for a while, while. You feel me? What niche fragrance do you recommend for a starter? Mm. I say either get Messera, Cedro Boise. Um, what niche fragrance do I recommend for a starter? I don't really know for real. Um, Creative Ventures. I don't know if I recommend. I'm the type of person. I don't know if I really recommend Creative Ventures for everybody because Creative Ventures got a little retro, old school smell. I don't know if a lot of people like that. It does to me though. I know that. I don't know if people people will like Creed. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really name them off the top of my head, gang. Uh, what what YSL should I get? Uh, YSL YDP. If you just think about getting some, what is the main goal for you for you and YouTube? My main goal is to my main goal is to create a foundation of all my generations. I want to be the first to do it, and I want to be the one that does it the best you feel me i'm not i do not just want to like like i just want to set my footprint in this shit you feel me to the point where like once i'm done with this and i'm still vlogging like y'all still like you know what i'm saying like damn i remember the days he used to go so hard he used to stay up late nights he used to be grinding damn now look now he here i love shit like that you feel me and one day i hope that's me you feel me like one day i'm up in my penthouse and then i'm just like damn you deserve it bro you was working so hard you feel me that's my goal is to just get me my friends my family all just i don't know i don't know i can't I, I can't it's just it's a lot of goals it's a lot of goals i want to buy my mom my house i really want to get my grandma i want to get my grandma something i don't know i don't know what to get my grandma i want to get my granddad his favorite car like it's a lot of things i want to do you feel me and it's a lot of pressure but i'm ready for it what is your favorite niche fragrance my favorite niche Okay, I keep on saying side effect and New York Night. So another niche I do want to get eventually is Original Santal. Dash is gas. Original Santal is gas, my nigga. I right, bro, I'm gonna get that shit one day. Yeah, I was gonna say Grand Soir, but no, nah, I, I say I say Original Santal. What you think about Stronger with you? Casual, just casual, casuals, 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 gang. What's your favorite niche fragrance? Um. Oh, I, I already read. That. I was like, did I read that shit? Do you like Parfums de Marley Oh John? I have not smelled that yet. Best Valentino from Best Valentino from Born in Roma collection. Um, Coral Fantasy to me. I like Green Stravaganza. My mama didn't like Green Stravaganza when I smelled it with her, but I like Green Stravaganza. It's cool. What's the fragrance for all seasons? Versace Dylan Blue. Um, when are you gonna get a niche fragrance and what will it be? When, will I, when I get a niche fragrance, I don't know. I'm probably done collecting this month. This month, I'm gonna probably chill out. Cause y'all, I bought six fragrances. No, how many fragrances did I buy? No, I bought. I think I bought four. I bought. I don't even know. But I just bought more in a month than I really buy like in a couple months. Like I just, I'm good, bro. Just know I'm good. I'm good for right now. I'm good, gang. Um, but yeah, I'm. I'm probably gonna get a niche fragrance. Probably like August. Probably like next month. You'll probably catch me getting one in like. We probably. Probably catch me getting two. You'll probably catch me getting two in August. And what will it be? It could be original Santal. It could be Grand Soir. 
It could be um, New York Knights. It could be sound effect. It's just it's chances. I don't know. I don't even know my damn stuff. If you had a, if you had to only own, if you had to own only three fragrances, what will it be? Um, Versace Dylan Blue. Oh, I can own anything. Oh, never mind. Let me stop. Let me stop keeping my head in the budget. I'm tripping. If I can own anything, Buddha Chanel Parfum. Um, that's my old reliable right there. I'll use that as my old reliable. Um, what's a sweet? What's a, what's a what should I, what should be my going out? Something sweet. I'll probably stick with Lamar Elixir. I'll probably stay because even though that's not niche. Um. What's the third spot? Ah, I'd probably say Spice Bomb EDT. I don't really need the most riches. I still say Spice Bomb EDT. What's your what's your what's your all time favorite fragrance? Just said it. Side effect. Um, which Valentino do you recommend for a date night? Date slash going out at night. Coral Fantasy. Coral Fantasy is the best to me. Um, what fragrance you wish you had? Like at this moment right now, I wish I had in my collection Savage Elixir. That's probably my next. When's the next Rennes subscribers collection video? Just release that. Do you think you're going to switch up the content away strictly from fragrances? Eventually, yeah. Eventually, yeah. Um, but I do think it will be like the content would be. I'm gonna just be 100 honest with y'all. The content, the content would be better if I went places. I don't really go out. I stay in the house. Um, like I know y'all probably tired of seeing this background, like. I am too. Like I want to go out. I don't want to vlog too. You feel me? But it's just the way my situation, the way I'm set up right now. Just know I just can't. I just can't. But when I can, I do do it. Just like that video with me spraying a hundred sprays of Savage. Next time I do go out in public, I promise y'all will do it. Next time I go, I promise y'all will. But it's just right now, I just, I just can't. Um, what's your next cologne? I don't know. If you had all the money in the world, which three fragrances are you buying? Just some expensive ass shit. I don't know. I'm gonna just go to the go to Saks and just smell the most expensive shit and just get what I like. What's your most freaky freaky fragrance? Like if I'm trying to get freaky with a girl, I probably wear Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Prive. I probably wear Dolce Gabbana the one intense, and I probably wear I probably wear Dylan Blue. I fuck with Dylan Blue Heavy. Opinion on Born and Roma Intense. That's the second place for me. Um, it's Coral Fantasy first, and then um, um, Born and Roma Intense second for me. Ultimate going crazy. I know y'all using some type of ultimate. Keep me out of it, my nigga. I, I don't want nothing to do with that. Man. I ain't trying to have no feelings knocking at my dog. Um, do this best. Do this, bro. Best everyday fragrance I needed. Best everyday fragrance. Um. That's a lot of them. You got Savage, you got Buddha Chanel, you got Pernal Rosa Carbon, you got Dylan Blue, you got, you got a lot. You got a lot, gang. You got a lot of everyday fragrances. Like, you gotta, you gotta be more specific. Like, every day on a budget, every day, like, you're going to school, every day you're going to work. Like, you gotta be, y'all gotta be more specific when y'all ask these questions. Also, do some Valentino vids. I don't own any Valentinos. Um, I don't really see the need to. I probably, if I do get a Valentino, it probably would be Green Strap and Ganza. Cause I'm good on sweep right now. Like I said, I'm good. What do you think? What do you, what do you find of Mancera Tonka Cola? I have not smelled that one. What do you find of John Paul Gaultier LeBeau EDT? It's cool, but I don't see why everybody's just on it. Like everybody has it. Best blind buy. Versace <laughs> Dylan Blue. I keep on saying that shit this video. I'll probably think I'm dick riding that too. Um, five hundred dollars one perfume. What you buying? Probably a big ass bottle of Baccarat. If I get five hundred dollars, I probably just get a big ass bottle of Baccarat <laughs> and just have it there just for whenever I want to. You know what I'm saying? I probably fuck around and use Baccarat as my room spray, low key. I don't really give a damn about that fragrance. How much money do you have? Wait till the end of the video. Prada Lone Tough or Nah? Um, I suggest Prada Lone Rosa Carbon over Prada Lone, but if you got it, that's what's up. What is the best fragrance you have ever smelled? New York Nights. New York Nights. You got, I, if you have not smelled New York Nights, go get it. Go. I mean, don't go get it. Go smell it. 
why don't you get a job um sir this is my job um what's the best discounter for someone who lives in america texas um the best two discounters i use is oh and it's actually the warehouse is in texas you can either you can either use or fragrance or joma shop those are just those are the only two i use and the only two i trust um what are the fragrances in your wish list original santal savage elixir side effect new york nights that's all i really want for it i don't really want nothing for it for it no more <clears throat> everything i buy is just it would just be a want like i mean not a want but an add-on what cologne should i buy for winter um, Lamal Elixir, Lamal Parfum, Stronger D1 Intensely, is our most wanted Parfum. Um, oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Can I, should I get it? Can you please follow me back? Do you like Parfums and Marley Percival? I have not smelled that one. Favorite artist? Favorite artist? I like Sassy Red. Sassy Red, my favorite. My booty hole brown, my coochie pink. I ain't never heard that my coochie stink. That's my favorite line. I think Argos is better than Puffins de Marley. What you think? I think you smoking dick. <laughs> um, you have just won a million dollars. Be honest, what's the first purchase? If I won a million dollars, my nigga. If I won a million dollars, a million. Yeah, think about it. Two commas in your bank account. A million dollars, gang. What would be my first purchase? I'd probably get all my mom. I'd probably get my mama 20 bands. First of all, I'm putting half of that up. I'm only gonna keep 500,000. And then that's that's my rule with money. Anything I get, I put half of it up. And then I'll probably get like my mama like a hundred. I'll probably get my grandma and my granddad like 50, both 50. I'll get my auntie. 20 i get my other auntie 20 i get my uncle 20 um i don't know i probably i wouldn't even spend that shit on myself because sometimes y'all gotta think about it gang it's probably a good reason we not rich yet because gang think about it what would we do with a million dollars we'll probably fuck that shit off gang. we say we'll save it but to be honest bro look how fast what i just said goes like i gotta think about that shit gang like we have never touch that amount of money yet so if we touch it we wouldn't even know what to do with it so i'll just give it to my woman give it to my grand you know what i'm saying give it to them let them enjoy their life um what if this what ethnicity would you not date um i wouldn't say there's no ethnicity i would not date I, i'm attracted i'm attracted to a lot of ethnicities i'm attracted to light skins dark skins you know what i'm saying the brightest they can get the darkest they can get you know what i'm saying i'm attracted to them you feel me um but my preference Everybody got their preference. My preference, you gotta you gotta be 5'1 in between 5'5. Five five. You gotta be like red bone. You gotta be red bone. You gotta have some good lips, some good, some good old coconuts, and some good old booty cheeks. Okay. That's my pre that trough star preference, okay? That trough star preference. So if y'all see a bit like that, y'all let me know. A fragrance that's overrated in your opinion. Too damn many. I can't even think of one. Too damn many. You should get a sample of Parfum Thermale Ojon and see if you like it. It smells like a warm apple pie and it's great. Oh, I like apple pie. I might need to try that. Do you like Angel Share? Hell yeah. I, I plan on getting that. Oh, that's another fragrance I do want to get. Angel Share. Um, rate, rate Invictus Parfum. Invictus Parfum is hardest, but that shit is like, that smell is a 10 out of 10 to me, bro. That smells gas. Should you use YSLIDP in daytime or nighttime? Both. You can use YSLIDP on any occasion. When are you doing the next random, random viewers fragrance? Be, um, did that shit. Have you tried Pompons to Molly Alter? No, I have not. Who got you into YouTube? I want to say it's one specific person, but I used to watch so much damn YouTube in my life. It's like, damn, nigga, you might as well become a YouTuber. Like, like when little kids was watching TV, I was watching YouTube. Like, YouTube was my TV my whole life. That's why I feel like it was low-key destined for me to become this shit, you feel me? Like, I just would be watching YouTube all summer, laughing at niggas, you feel me? And now it's my turn to make y'all summer, you know what I'm saying, good. And I hope I've been doing, you know what I'm saying, a good job. But I just remember staying at the TV screen, watching people, you know what I'm saying, me laughing all day. And that shit's just like, damn. 
And then one day I, I made a YouTube channel and you know what I'm saying? Shit went up for now. What it went up, it went down. It went downhill very bad. But it got bad before it got good. Remember that. Uh, when did you start getting into fragrances? I've been into fragrances. I just never been able to afford them. So now that I'm able to afford them, I'll be getting them. But I've been in the fragrances since I was like, I want to say in between seventh and eighth grade. I want to say that summer, probably. I want to say that. Should I get Poffins to Molly Ojan or Jazz Club? I love Jazz Club to me. Um, what are the best edible fragrances? Any price? Best edible? Um, Kamal Elixir. I look at my collection low key. Hold on. Um, Lamal Elixir, One Million Elixir. Um, Ter Tiziana Terenzi Kirke. Um, Angel Share. Um, Javanchi did some Reserve Privé. Um, those are just some good edible phrases. I'm gonna start right now. Should I buy Savage Elixir or Gentleman Javanchi Gentleman Reserve Privé? That's two different things, gang. Um, it's like, do you want? Savage Elixir is more for like that masculine vibe. You want to like take over the room. Like they both masculine as hell. They both masculine. But Savage Elixir is like if you want to take over the room type shit. Like you want everybody to smell you. And you just like you want to you command your respect, gang. Um, Givenchy just from a reserve Privé, It has like a little ed edible chocolatey smell. You feel me? Um, it's very mature. It's very masculine. It's very gentleman like. Hence the name Givenchy Gentleman. Um, it's a it's it's dark. It's reserved, but it's good. It's good. I don't know. You have to smell it for yourself, gang. But which one would I buy? If I didn't have Javante to the Reserve Privé, and just because I like edible fragrances, I'll get Reserve Privé. But it's up to you, gang. What fragrance would you want? Would you want besides the ones you've already listed? You want already? I don't listen so damn many. Like I said, bro, it's, it's not that much I really want out there for real, for real. Two good fragrances with a sixty to one sixty dollar budget. Spice Bomb EDT. Versace Dylan Blue and off 9, 9 p.m. I just gave you the go to the top three. What's your number one dream fragrance? Initial side effect. What is your grail fragrance? Um, I might be a little slow. What is grail? My bad. Are you gay? <sighs> what fragrance should I get to start a collection? Versace Dylan Blue. <laughs> when, why did you start collecting fragrances? Because I was bad smelling. I used to smell terrible. I used to smell terrible. Believe it or not, I used to be the worst smelling in my house. Um, <laughs> when we get in that bottom or not, um, if you add up the years, Draymond Green shot shots at Kendrick Lamar, and then Kendrick Lamar um, beat up on Kim Kardashian booty cheeks, then that's the answer. How old are you? I'm, I just turned 17 like three weeks ago. Um, have you ever done any sorts of drugs? No, I have not. I said no to all drugs. Like I've been offered a, a lot of drugs. I've been, in high school, if you guys are going to high school, well, y'all probably going to high school that I went to. But high school, bro, they would, it's a lot of temptation for a lot of things, gang. But um, yeah, I said no to all drugs. I'm, I'm good, bro. I don't deserve it yet. Um, I feel like drugs is for people who deserve it. Like weed, I'm able to try that when I'm done, you know what I'm saying, grinding. You feel me? If you had all the money in the world, which fragrance would you still not purchase? Oh, that's a good question. What fragrance would I still not purchase? Like, even though I got all the damn money, where I still don't like that shit that much. I'll probably get. I pro oh, I said I probably get. I probably wouldn't get. Uh, damn, that's a tough one. Um. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I'll probably just, I'll probably wouldn't get Ooh Satin Mood. I probably wouldn't get Ooh Satin Mood. I probably wouldn't get Baccarat, to be honest. Baccarat is just not, it's not, I didn't use it enough. I'm good on it. One full bottle, I'm not, um, Baccarat, I don't need it, gang. Baccarat, I'm good, bro. Is being an influencer socially exhausting? Wait, um, socially exhausting. What do you mean socially exhausting? Um, I don't, I'm sorry if I don't understand that question. I'm kind of slow. I'm kind of retarded. But is being an influencer socially exhausting? I mean, even though I don't understand your question, I will say no because I'm still social with my friends. I'm socially awkward. 
Like, I don't talk to people. Every every time I met a friend in high school, it wasn't because I talked to them first. It's because they talked to me first. Like, I don't talk to new people. I hate meeting new people. Other type, I like to stay with my little friend group and keep mine. You feel me? Like, I hate, I hate that shit. Um, what is a goal you have set yourself? I wanted, I wanted to reach ten thousand. I mean, twenty thousand by the end of this. Um, by the by the before I went back to school. But it doesn't seem like I'm in that. But it seems like I'm I'm finna hit ten thousand. But that's low key kind of crazy. I ain't even been like I be seeing my subscriber count, but I don't even be like looking at it for real, for real, like trying to understand the numbers. Because if I'm being honest with y'all, after I hit a thousand subscribers, it all just it don't even feel like nothing to me no more. Like oh I hit eight thousand. Oh damn. Oh I hit nine thousand. Oh damn. But I feel like when I hit when I hit double digits, I feel like that's when it's gonna get a little crazy. You feel me? When I hit ten k, I, I might I might shed a little tear. <laughs> well, um. A sweet niche recommendation that is not side effect, not sauce, or New York Knights. A sweet niche, Angel Share. A side of oh, I already said side effect. Um, Angel Share. Is it pink? Favorite fragrance influencer. I don't really have none. Probably y'all. I'll be watching y'all's. Um, if y'all send me y'all YouTube, I'll be watching y'all videos, gang. I watch all y'all's. Where to send perfume collection photo? Nigga, send on my Instagram. How much money have you used on Ferguson's game? If I haven't touched a band, I'm close to a thousand. If I haven't touched it already, how tall are you? I'm I, I grew, actually grew an inch. I was five, seven, I'm five eight now. Yay! Um, Jay Frangers, you don't own. Probably New York Knights. That's a lot of them. Um, favorite freshie from Louis Vuitton. Probably that imagination shit. No, I don't know. I don't know the names of that shit. I gotta try. I ain't tried none of it. Are you ever gonna switch up YouTube content? You huh? I stick to Ferguses. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it up. Are you a sussy Baka serious question? No funny shit. We are done with those questions. Don't answer our questions. Um, I think I'm gonna just move on to YouTube and answer those. And then, yeah, that's gonna be it for this QA. So let's move on to YouTube. All right, gang. Next up, I I gang on YouTube, they said, Can I hold a honey? You can hold these balls, nigga. Is it true that 200 ml bottle of YSLIDP projects less than its overall less strong than 100 ml bottle? I wouldn't know. I don't buy no 200 ml bottles. That's crazy. That first about a price. I can buy two fragrances. I don't like a fragrance that much to get 200 ml. There's no fragrance I like that much. Um, any tips for aspiring YouTubers? Um, <sighs> shit, I'm still an aspiring YouTuber, but um, shit, something for an aspiring YouTuber. Just keep going, bro. And keep on um, keep analyzing your data. Keep analyzing your data and just keep wanting to get better. Don't just do it just to do it. Like keep like actually trying to learn from other people. You can watch my videos, you can watch School of Scent, you can watch Jeremy Fragrance. Like one thing I like to do, I like to go on Jeremy Fragrance oldest videos, see what popped, see what didn't, you feel me? Like just be be you gotta love studying. You gotta you gotta like just like school, like this is this is our replacement to school. Like you gotta love studying your YouTube analytics. You gotta love studying what people like and what people don't and just keep on improving every video you feel me just keep on learning what videos help your channel grow the fastest um compliments i talked about comp I, yeah my first video to blow up no my first video to get a thousand views was how to make your cologne last longer and that shit was crazy because y'all gotta think about it. a thousand views go, go getting from from getting zero to 20 views to getting a thousand that shit crazy but if my first video that blew was talking about how to make cologne last longer and then my second video to blow was about the truth about compliments and then after that i don't know but it was how to make cologne last longer and the truth about compliments um what do you hope changing in this world um i don't know i'm a giver so when i do get you know what i'm saying when i do eventually get my royalties or whatever i whenever i do end up you know what i'm saying getting my royalties I want to, like I said, I want to give away fragrances to people who don't, you know what I'm saying, can't afford them. I want to make a fragrance brand for people who can't afford stuff. Um, You know, I, it's just a lot of things I want to do in this world. You know what I'm saying? Fragrance wise, health wise, mentally wise, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things I want to do. Um, How much you make from YouTube? Love the videos, by the way. I wait for that question. I wait for the answer. What's your first fragrance you recommend as someone getting who has no prior experience? Blue fragrance. Versace Dylan Blue. Part of Little Rosa Carbon, and those are my main two suggestions. Will you do a 10 say, 10k subscriber special? I probably would. I probably would. Yeah, I probably would. 
Um, what advice do you give a smaller influencer like me with fragrances? Smaller influencer, just stay consistent. That's all I can say. Just stay consistent, stay dedicated, stay stay loving it. Stay loving it. Stay loving. That's the hardest part. Even when you hate it, stay loving it. Um, what's how many fragrances do you have? Twenty. Uh, well, if you count like everything, I probably have like over like thirty five. Um, what's your favorite fragrance from the Zerjoff and Parfums de Mali? I don't like Parfums de Mali Layton. The only Parfums de Mali I like is um. What's that motherfucker called? It's um Haltain. Haltain. Haltain is good. I like Haltain. Haltain cool. Zerjoff. Zerjoff Comandante. I like Zerjoff Comandante. What fragrance brand do you think has the best fragrances? YSL. YSL Dior. Nah, Dior. Dior got that bitch for sure. Dior got that lineup for sure. Um, what will you do 100 sprays of Dior Sauvage? Because that video got 100 likes. Like I said, bro, next time I go in public, I will do that, bro. I just ain't big. I don't go out in public like that. What are the next fragrances you plan to buy? I done answered that question like five times. Who is your favorite fragrance YouTuber you watch? Like I said, I don't watch nobody. I watch y'all. So when y'all be posting videos, I'll be up late night watching the motherfuckers. So y'all, y'all better keep on going because I need content to watch too. Um... Should I get off 99 p.m. or Versace Dental and Versace Dental Blue Jeans or just get Mont Blanc? Just get Mont Blanc. Um, what's your favorite? What's your favorite game? I hate that bitch because I be down a lot, but Warzone. I can't even play that motherfucker no more, bro. Look at my headset, gang. My shit is done for. What I look, what I look like? What, what, what I look like? Hey, yo, he coming around the corner, gang. He coming around, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I, I can't even play the game no more. What are your favorite? What are your three? What are your top three dream fragrances that you don't currently own? Um, I don't answer that shit like 10 times. I ain't gonna point answer that shit again. But, um, all right, y'all. That is gonna be the it for today's video. It's probably gonna be a long ass video. I'm not gonna cut nothing. I'm gonna, as y'all see, I'm gonna just let this, you know what I'm saying, go. It's probably gonna be like an hour long video. I don't know. But, um, yeah, y'all, I just wanna do an uncut raw video and let y'all, you know what I'm saying, get to know me if y'all haven't known me already yet and get y'all and get, get some questions to know Trap Star. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Y'all thought, how much money do I make? Now, this is a very, very, very sensitive topic. A very, very, very sensitive topic. Cause y'all wanna know what Trap Star pockets look like. Y'all don't wanna know what y'all don't know what Trap Star pockets looking like. But um, I'm gonna actually show y'all. Let me go ahead and get to show y'all how much money does Trap Star make. Are y'all ready? Three, two, one. That's how much Trap Star makes. <laughs> but now, gang, on a serious note, just know the amount I make, I am blessed to make. I know a lot of high schoolers. They don't. They they don't even have a thousand subscribers i know a lot of people don't even have 10 subscribers and i'm gonna get there in like two weeks probably so just know i'm very grateful for what i do get and i'm very 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 thankful and happy y'all niggas know y'all niggas see me cry with these donations and shit but um just know i am very thankful for you guys to be in my life and just make sure y'all keep on watching these ads because child star is trying to run it up please do but uh yeah that's gonna be it for today's video man and um, I hope you guys enjoy. If y'all did stay to the end, I know this was a long ass video, but um, yeah, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day, and peace.